So welcome to the Tween Teen uh, Tuesday class. Um, we've got Kirsten and Erin and Megan, and then we have um, Karis and um, Rowan who are not here today. So this class um, is our Tween Teen class, and they did a lot of work on a few projects. They really put some time and effort into them. We did um, a still life inspired by Juan Sanchez Coutan, a still life artist from the um, kind of late Renaissance. We also um, went into the pottery studio um, and learned how to make face mugs. Um, and we, there are some really awesome ones. And then lastly, we went into the dark room and learned how to do some phototypes and expose photographic paper. So let's start with Megan. I'm going to start with you, Megan, over here. This is Megan. All right. So Megan, what was your favorite project that you did? Um, I really liked doing the face mugs because I thought it was a lot of fun and it was really fun to paint because I don't know, just everything blended really nice. It was really fun. You have a very dark theme on your face mug. I do. His name is Billy. B Billy, I love it. All right. And what did you learn about yourself as an artist this semester? Um, I learned that I really like sculpting. Okay. Very good. Well, you're really good at it. You've got some really unusual and clever ideas. All right, Aaron. What was your favorite project today? I mean, this this semester. Well, my favorite project was the um, face mugs. Because of like the, uh, I love I've been doing that. Paint, uh, painting for a while and I uh, like to uh, do something different. Did you like doing the sculpture and working with your hands that uh -huh. way? Yeah. That's awesome. And then Erin, I really like um, what you did in the dark room. That's really cool. And Erin, what did you learn about yourself as an artist these last few weeks that you've been here? I really like going against the uh, norm instead of just doing a, light, a normal face mug. I, I like to like, do something that sticks out like an eye patch or like a... Um, warts or like um, smaller eyes or just something that sticks out. Cause yeah, that's uh, you know, an, an artist needs to do that in order to stick out from all the other artists, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well done. All right, and then we've got Kirsten over here. Kirsten, what was your favorite project? My favorite project was the prototype because it was something different, um, like being able to see it like come to life and you put it into a solution. It's like magic, isn't yes. it? It's great. It's one of my favorite projects to do. And as long as I can get the materials, we're going to do this every year. That composition on the wall is spectacular. I love that. Um, and what did you learn about yourself as an artist? Um, that I like more than just painting, that I like to do the mug and and sculpting using my hands and stuff. Okay, and, and doing different, new, learning new yes. things. I love your coton painting though. Look at that. So cool. All right, and then we've got over here, this is Karis. Karis couldn't be with us today, but she did a spectacular job, especially on her coton inspired painting here. She did great with her shadows and highlights. And it looks like she had fun in the dark room too. And her face mug, is awesome. Oh, we miss you, Karis. All right, and then we also are missing Rowan. Um, and Rowan's got some awesome stuff. He went into the dark room. He's got a great pair of phototypes here that go really well together. I love those. Um, and then he did a great uh, coton and his face mug. I love the blue in it and the details on his face. And then he was one of the few to get this project done, which I think is awesome. All right, well, y'all did a really good job. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. Give yourselves a, a big round of applause. Clap for yourself. Clap, 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 clap. All right, well, y'all did a good job.